Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So excited that you came to the channel today. Glad you are here to talk about QuickBooks Point of Sale. This is going to be a quick little video. Uh, speaking of when we've turned on security, I know we just mentioned that in a video uh, recently. So once you turn on security, your employees and yourself need to log in to the point of sale to use it. And so we're going to cover logging in and logging out and how that works and how you can restrict um, random people from from just using your point of sale. Before we do that, don't forget to click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there. I would be happy to see you there. You can ask questions about workflow or errors or whatever you want. You could request a video for this channel and I and other members of the community will answer you. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe today so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos all the time. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna mention real quickly in preferences and company, this is where we turned on security. It's on the general area. It's the very first one here. And uh, I will also mention this special check mark right here. If you would like to automatically log out users after each sale, some people like this because they're constantly going, uh, they're making sales and then they're stepping away from the cash register to help people out. So then it's always locked up. People can't touch it. Uh, other people would tell you that's way too annoying because if you're busy, and you have sale after sale after sale and your cash register clerk never goes anywhere else, they're just always at the cash register, then they constantly have to be logging in over and over and over again and it just slows down the sales. So that is up to you according to how you do things. You can have that or not. But I will mention that right up here, if you've turned security on, you now have this new little drop down menu. This is not here if your security is off. All you get to see is the cloud and your little time clock here. But if you do have this drop down and security on, then two options I'm going to cover right now is uh, either logging out or switching users. So I will show you first logging out. Now, when you log out, it just comes to this security screen and you can leave your point of sale, your cash register, walk around your store, have no worries about anybody, uh, a customer for some reason or a random person coming and messing with the point of sale. Now I'm going to log in as Samantha and part of this little demonstration I will show you that uh, yes, you can actually leave the password blank for your employees and they can just log in not doing anything. I don't know if you think that's a good idea or not. It's kind of up to you, but that is a possibility. Now you will notice that Samantha actually has very few rights. I think she's an associate. And so she only gets to do a few things here. She can look at customers, she can make a sale, she can for some reason look at purchase orders but not make them or receive them. I don't know, maybe that's for checking if something's coming in. She can clock in and clock out and look up items. Anyway, she has very few rights. So if she's going along and doing her thing and trying to, you know, help people, but suddenly she needs to do something else like look up an old receipt or do the end of day, uh, what she would need to do is have a manager come over and she would switch users to the manager. And so then the manager, maybe it's Peter. Actually, I don't think I know Peter's password, which is weird because that's me. <laughs> I'll just do sysadmin. So the manager would log in and then they'd suddenly have rights to do everything and then they could look up whatever they need to do. So there you have it. That is how you switch users and that is also how you log out and stay logged out so that uh, nobody can access the point of sale unless they have a username and password. Uh, I hope this clears up any questions about making sure that you're on the right user because as you may or may not know, when you are doing things in point of sale, whether it's creating receipts, creating receiving vouchers, purchase orders, if you have security turned on, then you actually get to see 
who did stuff. I, I know I only have a few examples in here, but you can see that uh, Peter did this one and sysadmin did the rest, but you can kind of get a paper trail going. So you want to make sure that you're logged in as the correct user so that uh, you don't get in trouble for anything you didn't do or you don't, or I don't know, I guess you do get in trouble for what you did do. So make sure you do things right. Make sure you're logged in as your own user when you do all of your stuff. All right. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. This was logging in and out of QuickBooks Point of Sale. I hope you have yourself a great day. Bye-bye now.